Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Adriana DC. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know it has been a hot minute since you guys have seen me in front of the camera. Unfortunately, life has just been coming at me, you guys. But have no fear, I am here. I'm back like never before. Tonight's video is going to be a massive perfume haul. Recently, I purchased quite a few um, fragrances. Usually, I give you guys a collective haul and then give you an individual, in-depth, dedicated review to the scents. But I did the opposite. So now, I have given you guys, you know, my thoughts, my views on quite a few fragrances. But I'm giving you collectively all of the scents that I recently added to my collection. So if you guys are interested in seeing all the new scents that I recently purchased, then by all means, keep on watching. If you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you guys for supporting me i truly appreciate your support now before we get into the video i would just like to tell you guys about ways you can save some money especially when you're indulging into this wonderful hobby this expensive hobby of buying fragrances so recently i teamed up with gocashback.com which is one of the fastest growing cashback websites currently Pretty much the company helps you to get back 40% of whatever you spend at your favorite store, whichever store you guys love shopping at. The company works with stores such as Sephora, Selfridges, Macy's, Kohl's, Home Depot. All, all of these companies, pretty much once you use the Go Cash Back website, you can get back 40% of whatever you spend. So currently, uh, the company gave me a um, special registration bonus of $8. So pretty much if you guys sign up using my link or my referral code, which is in the description box, you guys will automatically receive $8 bonus. And you guys can withdraw using either PayPal, check a gift card or HeliPay. So that's right. You guys can actually save or get back some of the money that you spend when you are shopping on these lovely expensive fragrances so you can either download the go cashback google chrome extension or you can download the go cashback app use my link or the referral code to immediately receive eight dollars bonus and you can get back 40 percent of whatever is you spent you guys can also use go cashback with whatever discount codes that you have um, from whatever websites you can use them together to save quite a bit of money so yeah you can actually save some money while you in dog so yeah shop away you guys <laughs> all right so i'm pretty much gonna just whiz through these fragrances because like i said to you guys i have discussed a few of these scents on my channel already so you may or may not have seen a few of them so the first fragrance that i recently added to my collection is zerjoff opera now this is the first and only fragrance that i have from the brand i have been eyeing you know zoja fragrances for quite some time now but i will have to say to you i have been a bit overwhelmed because there are quite a few fragrances from this brand that people rave about so you just don't know which one to grab but i grabbed the opera and this one has in notes of top notes you have some fruits and Turkish rose in the middle you get some ylang ylang nutmeg amber leather in the base you get your vanilla patchouli musk virginia cedar and haitian vinegar for me i get the rose the rose is definitely prominent there is some sweetness a very gen a generous dose of sweetness but nothing too clean so it's a nice sweet fragrance with the essence of rose you definitely get the florals you get the ylang ylang the nutmeg and of course you get the woody touches in the base very um it's a warm sophisticated uncomplicated smelling fragrance okay it projects quite well it doesn't um, it's not a like a loud fragrance i will say to you this fragrance wears quite well and the fragrance comes out to be quite soft but it lingers and it stays with you all day and it stays on your clothes i've worn this fragrance and the outfit that i've worn the next day when i pick it up you can definitely smell the fragrance on it still so this is a this is quite a decent fragrance it is um I would say it's a quite of a it has somewhat of a neutral tone a neutral tone because even though it has those fruity notes in the top the rose and all the florals it's a very mellow smelling fragrance and it just has an aura of sophistication mixed with some spice some sweetness and some woody touches in the base beautiful fragrance that i've recently added to my perfume collection from that wonderful brand of Sorry, so next up we have true oud by carolina herrera the confidential line you guys now the carolina herrera line the confidential line has superstars they got like oh my god some of the most beautiful smelling fragrances but that price tag you guys 
oh my god but let me tell you it is so beautiful and the bottle is like just amazing this now is a fairly new fragrance from the carolina herrera um confidential line it's called true oud and you know knowing me and my obsession with oud i had to get it and this fragrance did not disappoint at all you guys let me just take quickly tell you guys the notes in true oud so this one has in top notes of saffron olive asmantas freesia middle notes of thailand oud myrrh jasmine I think aloewood, musk, sandalwood, and patchouli in the base. This is true oud. It smells, it just smells like oud. It has a light sweetness to it, a fruity, um, punchy, a little bit citrusy sweetness to it. Beautiful smell and fragrance, you guys. This is strong. This is true oud and all its, you know, glory. It's not scary because I want to say they put something in it to kind of like, um, it kind of soften up the edges, okay? The freesia, that's it. The freesia in here are so kind of soften up the edges. And you have your sandalwood and musk. I would say they definitely kind of like soften up the fragrance a little bit. But this is one of the only Carolina Herrera confidential fragrances in my collection. Um, like I said to you guys, I've been on a quest to find, you know, different, intriguing, out of the ordinary scent. This is a, um, it's a oud scent in true fashion, but it definitely smells expensive. It's just... I mean, I'm just happy to have it in my collection. It definitely smells like true one of the most recent fragrances I added to my perfume collection. I cannot wait to play with this scent some more. But the next fragrance that I recently purchased is Ombre Nomad from Louis Vuitton. And again, this is the first and only Louis Vuitton fragrance that I have in my perfume collection. And this was a pleasant surprise, you guys. This is a beautiful fragrance from the brand. Um, I don't hear a lot of people talking about this fragrance at all, but this is a magnificent smelling fragrance. Okay, you guys know I love my oud, and this has in oud, it has in raspberries, rose, oud, and, and quite a few other notes in here. So, but for me, I get a spicy, punchy, sharp raspberry, rose, and oud. Beautiful fragrance, you guys. Louis Vuitton did not come to play with this fragrance. And I'm going to have to say to you guys, I am a fan. I am a very big fan of Louis Vuitton. The price tag is crazy, which I'm guessing why people don't really talk about this fragrance or any of other any other Louis Vuitton fragrance that much. But they do have quite a sophisticated, classy set of fragrances that I am literally impressed. I am definitely impressed by this brand. If it wasn't for the price tag, I would definitely branch out and explore this brand a lot more. I still, I do have a few from the range that I would love to explore, but you guys, ooh, this is a beautiful scent. Definitely a beautiful fragrance from Louis Vuitton. So the next fragrance that I add to my collection is also from a brand that I am fairly new to, and that is Crimson Rocks by Amouage. So I recently added this fragrance to my collection. I have talked about this scent before. This is a spicy cinnamon, sweet rose, and honey smelling fragrance. In my opinion, it smells like cranberries mixing with um, it has somewhat of a medicinal um vibe to it. So it smells like cranberries, it has a medicinal vibe to it. It's a, it smells a bit spicy, it's a bit aromatic, it's sweet. It's, it's a beautiful fragrance, okay? No doubt, it's a beautiful scent. It's unusual, it's out of the ordinary and quite different, but it's still um. It's still a pleasing scent. I'm going to say crowd pleasing, but it's a pleasing scent. It's a scent that you can gravitate to, towards, so even though it's different, okay? I love the smell of this fragrance. I just like that it has this sweet, warm, spicy, a little bit medicinal and aromatic touch to it. So it's unique. It's different. It's just something interesting and nothing like I have in my collection. And again, this is another brand that I have not really like played with or explored. So I'm happy to add, you know, one from my collection and i did um grab myself another one as well which i'm about to tell you guys about so crimson rocks is you know one of the most newest fragrances added to my collection the next fragrance that i added to my collection from amouage is material and this definitely was a highlight for me from the brand this was an easy selection okay like once i went to the counter and i smelled all of the amouage fragrances this one in particular just blew me away this is a spicy amber floral smelling fragrance it has in some amber vanilla patchouli um, um labdanum it also has in some oud in here so pretty much what you get from here so it's just a spicy amber vanilla scent a spicy warm sweet ambery vanilla um smelling fragrance um i was surprised to, to discover that it has an oud in it i don't get a very prominent note of oud but it definitely is on the woodier side you get the there is guayac wood patchouli labdanum in the base 
it's a really just overall it's a really well blended fragrance it's a warm soft spicy um vanilla fragrance it's a beautiful perfume again definitely one of the highlights from amouage granted there are a lot of highlights but they're you know um something about amouage fragrances is like i noticed when a lot of people are talking about them they say it's either hit or a miss when it comes to amouage it's either extremely spectacular or it's a no and so far everything i smell from this brand is just extremely spectacular in my opinion because i like how different and daring they are and how um I would say the fragrances smell a little bit exotic in my opinion and i just love that because again after you've explored so many fragrances you want to move towards brands that intrigue you and i think mission was accomplished that was you know the mood of this haul i wanted to explore scents that i didn't have in my collection with some profiles that i'm not accustomed to smelling and amouage definitely impressed me and captured me you guys so this is amouage material so next up i added cherry oud by golen now i'm not new to the brand of golen but you guys know the brand recently um repackaged um their fragrances and this one this is one of the newest releases from the brand and i jumped on it i had to have it i want to have you know about one of the new um bottles in my collection and cherry and oud it just spoke to me you guys and the name is pretty much explanatory this smells like a, a spicy fresh citrusy airy powdery cherry oud fragrance a light sweetness to it now ripley's believe it or not i think this fragrance can be worn all year round i think this perfume can be worn out earlier wrong because it's not a thick and dense surface sweet cherry it's a fresh eerie dry powdery cherry fragrance a beautiful scent it smells sophisticated true girlin style is classy but still uncomplicated and it's a fragrance that you want to pull for like on a regular i love this perfume it definitely smells expensive again you know true girlin style and that's something that i love about girlin it just has an expensive old money type of vibe <laughs> in my opinion so cherry oud is a one of the newest fragrances added to my collection i love this fragrance so yeah cherry oud is one of the newest fragrances added to my collection all right so the next fragrance that i recently added to my collection is mark jacobs decadence you guys and i know i'm moving in reverse okay with some of these scents and there are a few other fragrances that i hauled as well you guys are gonna think but well, this girl is going in the opposite direction to everybody else but these are some of the fragrances that I skipped over in my perfume journey that I never really gravitated towards. And then, you know, I backtracked, you know, made a U-turn and be like, okay, wait a minute. I think I like this fragrance. I want to try it. So I actually saw this fragrance on a discount website that I usually shop on. And I was like, I got to have it. I think this fragrance is now discontinued. But let me tell you, okay, this is a beautiful smelling fragrance. I remember smelling this perfume a long time ago and I wasn't really into it. But now, I don't know. Something about this perfume. This is spicy, ambery, sweet, floral, vanilla fragrance, okay? There are some woody elements in here as well, but it's not like prominent. I want to say you get more of the spices, the amber, and the florals. Now, vanilla isn't listed in this perfume, and nobody can tell me that vanilla ain't in here. Something about this perfume is so sweet. There is plum and saffron in the top. No, plum, saffron, and there's some rose in here. So plum, saffron, rose in this fragrance, okay? and some woody touches to the base it's a beautiful spicy sweet fragrance this smells like it smells expensive i'm not gonna lie this fragrance smells expensive it's strong it projects and it's a screamer the funny thing about it is that it's not a harsh fragrance like when you smell it the texture of it does not smell harsh it just smells full bodied and when you wear this fragrance it's pretty much full bodied it's a strong projecting fragrance a well-rounded and well put together scent that i'm happy to add to my collection this is you know a fall and winter fragrance this is a perfume you can just in a dead winter spray yourself down in the fall if it's a little bit too hot if you spray it it might be a little bit too much but it's a beautiful sophisticated you know you know um kind of like um a little bit of an obnoxious aura type of scent in my opinion i think it's a beautiful fragrance i'm happy to find it added to my collection i love the bag funny enough is that the, it never attracted me before it's so weird but i just love this scent i love this fragrance it's a really sexy smelling fragrance in my opinion you guys so mark jacob decadence is one of the newest fragrances added to my perfume collection Next up is another brand that's new to my collection that i just was you know intrigued about exploring and this is mise en Serge luxury so um this brand has been making quite a lot of noise recently you know um but everybody has been talking about trish hair and for your love and all the popular ones and i wanted to kind of like step outside the box and explore the other scents that people have not been playing with and i decided to grab myself luxury i just love the name okay this is a powdery yeah 
a powdery classy white floral musky fragrance it has in some iris musk florals some benzoin tonka bean vanilla beautiful fragrance very laid back very uncomplicated this is a, a very classy resolved woman type of fragrance laid back but i like i like how crisp and clean and simplistic it is it's not a boring fragrance it definitely falls in line with gris dior it's a gris dior type of fragrance you guys definitely a very beautiful fragrance very sophisticated very classy smelling just crisp clean you know white floral musky sweet vanilla fragrance i love this perfume as a matter of fact miss and Shea completely blew me away the entire range is like superb it's fantastic there are a lot of scents from the brand and as you can see the bottles are very like minimalistic and transparent and crisp and clean and that's his scent profile that's his signature all of his fragrance smell pretty but crisp and clean you know different versions and stuff like that but just crisp and clean you guys so luxury definitely smells luxurious but you know luxury comes you know very minimalistic in my opinion so that's Bizancio Luxury. This fragrance is another fragrance from the brand of Bizancio and this is Celeb Woods. This is another fragrance that's not frequently talked about. I saw only one review on YouTube about this fragrance but when I smelled it I was absolutely blown away. This is a spicy okay a spicy musky vanilla fragrance and immediately when you smell this fragrance at the cap what jumps out at you is the cardamom there is a generous dose of cardamom and cinnamon it's aromatic it's clean it's pretty but it's a spicy aromatic dusty smelling fragrance it's dusty when i say dusty it has a white pepper so it has that um dusty element but like i said to you guys mizzen show has more of a clean crisp vibe to it so you can smell the powdery dusty presence in the fragrance but it's still clean, you know, that kind of way. It's just a spicy, um, aromatic smelling fragrance. It is borderline unisex. Actually, I don't feel like it's a borderline unisex. Okay. It, I don't feel like it's borderline unisex. But, you know, cardamom to me does tend to lean a little bit, you know, on the unisex side. I think the cardamom in here so is so pleasant and so nice and so pretty. I think because the fragrance is quite soft and quite mellow, uh, it's just backed up by musk and vanilla. It's a beautiful smelling fragrance. It's clean, it's crisp, it's nice. It's like, um, it's a dressy type of scent. It's an all black, you know, soup type of vibe. It's that fragrance that you wear to some of a formal event. It's a really nice smelling fragrance um, from Miss and Shea, in my opinion. So this is another brand that I look forward to exploring a little bit more because it's different. It's giving me something a lot more interesting and out of the ordinary. So Celeb Woods by Maison Sio is one of the fragrances that I recently added to my collection. So this next brand is also another brand that um, is new to my collection. And I had quite a few of them on my list and I grabbed all three of them. So I'm just going to give you guys, you know, all three of them right quickly. Because like I said, you guys have already done an in-depth review of all of these fragrances. So the next brand that I recently added to my collection is BDK and i grabbed myself three fragrances from the brand i grabbed the ever popular rouge smoking and i went away from you know the popular well talked about scents and i grabbed myself the nuit de sable and the um oud abrama because you guys know i'm a lover of oud this is a spicy oudy woody smelling fragrance the oud abrama is a spicy woody fragrance as well um, but it doesn't have an oud it smells expensive and upscale it's quite different it smells unique these two in particular definitely smell quite unique in my opinion but it's like um middle eastern meets western but it still has this um it's like a a a it's, it's like one of the um the chic sons the chic son decided to move to manhattan and he's <laughs> he's loaded with money but he's modern He's like up to the time, dressed really nice, but he just keeps it like GQ, keeps it, you know, like high end, expensive, and just smells like money. That's pretty much what, you know, the, the vibe that I get from these two fragrances. I love them because you guys know, again, in my search to find like um, very unique and out of ordinary scents, I was very, very successful, you guys. And once again, nobody is talking about these particular fragrances. They are quite different. They are very much, um, fall whew, fall and winter forward fragrances so these fragrances you're gonna see out in the fall time fall and winter time 
and then the ever popular rouge smoking that i just love and i had to get my hands on this is a cherry vanilla liqueur smelling fragrance a lot of people say it smells like root beer there's a root beer element to it but there's a sexy creamy vanilla essence to it i think there's tonka bean in here so a bourbon vanilla there is a sweet warm essence to this fragrance that is drop dead sexy okay i love this perfume it don't last you for a second i'm sorry the scent is pretty but this perfume don't last you for a second it don't linger it don't stay on your clothes it don't do none of the above but i am still happy to have this fragrance in my perfume collection i love the bottles from bdk you guys i'm very much impressed and this is another brand that i recently discovered and i would love to explore quite a few of you know the other selections from this range i have my eyes on quite a few of them so yeah BDK is another brand that I recently added to my collection. Oh. This next brand, I have also done a dedicated review to you guys. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to quickly go through these fragrances. This is Feel and Banks. And you guys probably remember <laughs> me going through this review when I tell you I love this brand. This is my newfound favorite obsession. Okay, I have four from the brand. I think um, there's quite a few that they have, maybe 10 or 11 um, of them. I have to get them all, all of them, okay? I have Sunset Hour, which is very popular. A beautiful, soft, um, fruity fragrance that, you know, um, made stop making a lot of noise. I think it was released last year, the year before, 2021 or 22. Beautiful smelling fragrance. It's pretty, it's soft, it's, um, it's a very pleasant smelling fragrance. It's not boring. I just like the way the, the fragrance smells, okay? southern bloom this is a beautiful soft um, um a little bit milky white floral fragrance pretty fragrance with the essence of coconut but it's not like a milk it's not a, like really milky fragrance it has the essence of the the milky vibes in another kind of way um it's not too clean it's just sophisticated it's powdery it's pretty this is my favorite of them all i love this fragrance class and elegance in a bottle in my opinion velvet splendor velvet splendor like the name implies it smells like suede well like the name implies right it smells like suede you guys yeah crisp classy clean suede so this is a crisp clean with a hint of sweetness velvet i mean suede smelling fragrance a crisp clean suede with um there was something a little bit slight citrusy and slight sweet beautiful smelling fragrance they're so classy and sophisticated smelling i'm surprised a lot of people aren't like going crazy over these scents but i am because they are absolutely beautiful you guys next up we have desert rosewood okay this smells like right it smells like the earth after it rains so you get a little bit of um the rose you get a dry a cold rose a cold rose with a slight bit of earthiness and woody touches to it a dry, slightly dusty, yet cold, earthy rose and wood smelling fragrance. It's just a beautiful fragrance. It just smells so beautiful. It just smells like the earth after it rains. I love these fragrances. Everyone, these scents for me from Goldfield and Banks are absolutely spectacular, you guys. I look forward to diving further into this brand. Again, this is like my newfound favorite perfume brand. I can't wait to add a few more of these fragrances to my collection. So this next fragrance also comes from a brand that is new to my collection. And this is Cavard by Fragrance de Bois. This is the one and only fragrance that I have from Fragrance de Bois, you guys. And this, again, like Amouage, when I smelled, you know, the entire range from Fragrance de Bois, this particular scent blew me away. It was like, oh my God. Like, oh my God. This is the best fragrance from Fragrance de Bois, in my opinion. The best one, because it's such a beautiful smelling fragrance. This is a spicy, woody smelling fragrance. This is a spicy, woody scent. Okay. I would say this is a very hard fragrance to describe. It has in some saffron, cinnamon, it has an incense, labdanum. You just get a lot of the spice. It's like a fusion because everything is so finely blended together. Okay. You know what, you guys? Um, I want to say, you guys, this fragrance has definitely marinated a lot more. When I smell this fragrance, it didn't smell this sweet. And then tonight, I'm getting a lot more of the geranium, the rose, and the ylang ylang in this fragrance. It's definitely a lot more sweeter than I recall. I know that's a little bit strange, but I would definitely say that this fragrance has definitely marinated a lot more. It's coming off a lot more sweeter. 
a lot more pleasing, a lot more airy, and you know, has a lot more, you know, I don't know, oomph to it in my opinion. Because I find that fragrance of our fragrances are like very finely blended, but I'm definitely getting a lot more of the fragrance. Beautiful smelling fragrance, a beautiful, beautiful smelling perfume. Now, a lot of people probably would say that this fragrance is just for um, you know, the fall and winter. I would wear this for all year wrong because it's still light, it has you know the spices in here, so it keeps a fragrance, it's an airy, invigorating scent, and then it has some sweetness in it from the florals and the rose. It's a beautiful scent that I think can definitely be worn all year wrong. I'm very I love the smell of this fragrance, you guys. So yeah, fragrance the bark have bought. I would definitely pull out this perfume all year wrong. But yeah, it's one of the only fragrances that I have on the brand. So far. and last but by no means least, um, my vanilla royale sugar patchouli. I have not given you guys an in-depth review, but I just wanted to highlight, you know, I just wanted to like um talk to you guys about this fragrance a little bit. I have not discussed this. Um, I probably have um included it on one of my trays. But yeah, I am in love with this perfume. I will always say to you guys is that okay. Let me just tell you what I get. So for this fragrance, I get I definitely get the creme brulee. I get the booze in here. So the creme brulee, the booziness in here. So and the patchouli. The patchouli is punching, you guys. The patchouli is definitely punching in this fragrance. I love how complex this perfume is. I love how exciting and different and daring this. It's not really daring, but it's definitely. A lot more complex than all the other fragrances from the brand and i love it i think kylie fragrances are exquisite you know i love every single one of them but i will say to you this fragrance has shown me how much i appreciate a basic vanilla fragrance it's so complex it's not every day you're gonna pull for this one even though it's such an exciting fragrance it's a perfume that you just want to pull for it's um would i characterize it as sexy not exactly because invite only amber 23 is the sexiest of them all but yeah, I'm really happy to add this fragrance to my collection. I love the notes in here. So I love that it has an ooh. Obviously, everything that Kylie brings out has to come my way because I just love the brand entirely. And of course, Love is Born in Cherry. I have discussed I have shown you guys this fragrance on my channel, but I have not included it in any of my hauls. So I've had this for quite some time now and I actually haven't reviewed it. This is a really like a soft, sweet, powdery, woody, cherry, vanilla fragrance. Yeah, spicy, woody, sweet, cherry, vanilla fragrance i love this perfume okay i love this fragrance after um i would say this one and um this and scandal is my favorite cherry fragrance in my collection but of course scandal is honey and cherries and um, a bit of a nutty vibe this one is a bit more cherry fa forward i definitely love the palisanto the powdery you know praline like vibe to this fragrance i love that essence it's not that sweet but I just love this fragrance because Kaylee always brings fragrances that has that, you know, generous dose of classiness and that, you know, that vibe to it that just makes you feel like such a lady, you know, that kind of way. So, yeah, this brings us to the end of my perfume haul. I'm really happy that I finally did this video for you guys because I've been sitting on this video for a hot minute. And yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoy this massive perfume haul. I want to say this is one of like the most exciting hauls I've done in a long time because everything was just superb and different and very much exciting, you guys. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If in fact you did, please do give me a very big thumbs up. Please don't forget to check out, you know, my Go Cashback referral code and link in the description box. So that way you guys can get a bonus of $8 when you sign up immediately. And of course, you get 5% cashback from whichever stores that you shop on via the Go Cashback app or website, you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a very big thumbs up. If you guys are new, please don't leave without hitting that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload. And for those of you who are my returning subscribers, thank you guys for supporting me. And see you guys in my very next video. Bye.